A surprising number of parents think that their children are picky eaters. As uh, many as 30% of mothers of six-month-olds have been reported to say that their child uh, is picky. And by the age of 18 to 24 months, nearly 50% of mothers or fathers say that their child is a picky eater. Obviously, it's unusual to describe a six-month-old as a picky eater because children at that age really are only eating what is offered to them either through the breast or sometimes with complementary foods. So many children who intermittently uh, turn away from complementary foods at six to eight months are just naturally exploring their environment and not truly showing food preferences or dislikes. As you know, bookstores are chock full of books on diet and nutrition, and many are lacking in good scientific rigor or rationale. So I always recommend that families discuss these issues with their pediatrician. Pediatricians are especially trained in preventive medicine, and diet is an important component of preventive medicine. Registered dietitians can also be good resources for advice on how to feed toddlers. Well, thankfully, schools have been really uh, more recently been very aware of unhealthy food choices and have ma taken steps to limit unhealthy food choices, such as limiting soda and other uh, sugary beverages. Um, I always tell parents to tell children, if you're thirsty, drink some water, but if you're hungry, drink milk or another uh, protein-containing beverage. Children who are exposed to fruits and vegetables early in life, including through breast milk as infants, have an increased ability to uh, eat fruits and vegetables. So constant exposure to fruits and vegetables in the house is the best approach to have them eat them. I recommend uh, exposing children to foods uh, 10 to 12 times at least when they're young infants and toddlers uh, before you say, this is a food that my child doesn't like. Our knowledge about children's uh, learning behavior with respect to foods is really quite limited. There are some data to suggest that breastfed infants, because they're exposed to maternal diet through breast milk, seem to have an easier time of accepting a variety of fruits and vegetables. So breastfeeding is an important component in introducing new foods to children. But consistency and uh, a rational approach to offering children fruits, vegetables, and other healthy foods beginning in infancy after six months of age and throughout toddlerhood is perhaps the most important step. Well, it is important that uh, parents realize that children through television commercials and sometimes their peers are exposed to a variety of messages that seem to encourage the intake of uh, nutritionally uh, poor choices of foods. That's why it's important in the home to have as many nutritious foods as can be made available to the child. Well, surprisingly, one study showed that among U.S. children at age eight months, a third of them had no vegetable or fruit each day, which is uh, obviously quite low. And by age 18 to 24 months, the most commonly consumed vegetables in U.S. children were actually French fries. <laughs> So I think efforts uh, to uh, smuggle, if you will, nutritious foods into foods that children and toddlers will eat more readily uh, really set up a false dichotomy between nutritious foods and foods that are fun to eat. There are plenty of foods that are healthy for you and also fun to eat. Um, and teaching a child that only quote unquote fun foods are good for you is not the right nutrition message.